Hey, does your country have laws for employers regarding equal opportunity? Many do. Now, in the workplace, that's a fair and a good thing. But there are some times when you never want to give an equal opportunity. Hey, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert, where everyone gets the same opportunity to join our daily time together. You're always welcome here. You know, my goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Also, join our email list to get Mornings with Bishop Robert sent directly to your inbox each morning and lots of other great benefits too. Click the link in the description. Hey, you never want to give an equal opportunity to your enemy. Your enemy's intent on your destruction. His goal is to steal all you have, kill everyone he can, and destroy everything he can gain access to. Eventually, he kills every prisoner he takes. He breaks every promise he makes. He lies and does all he can to deceive you. The Bible literally tells us to give no opportunity to the devil. Never give him a chance, a foothold, a place from which to launch his attack on you. No opportunity, ever, because he'll exploit every one of them. When I was an active duty U.S. Marine, my specialty was human counterintelligence. It's a critical tool to anticipate, counter, and then prevent an enemy's actions. It's essentially finding out things the enemy doesn't want you to know, so you can use them to defeat their tactics and win the war. Hey, guess what? I know something about the enemy he doesn't want you to know. It's something he tries to keep secret and hidden, and it's actually the key to defeating him. As sure as water makes you wet, this key to defeating the enemy works every time. And this morning, I'm going to share this incredible piece of intelligence with you. Keeping this one piece of intel as the foundation of your battle plan will change the outcome of the war. Would you like to know what it is? The enemy is prepared to flee. He knows his weapons cannot overcome our resistance. Today's verse says, Submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Winning the battle begins by submitting to God. He knows what we do not, and he always leads us in his truth. He knows best, even when we think we do. Yeah, you've, you've probably heard the story of the Navy ship captain looking ahead into the dark night and seeing some lights out in the distance. So immediately he told his signalman, send a message, alter your course 10 degrees south, and promptly got a return message back, alter your course 10 degrees north. Well, angry that his command had been ignored, he sent a second message, alter your course 10 degrees south. I'm a captain in the United States Navy. Well, the message came back, well, I'm a seaman third class, but alter your course 10 degrees north. So immediately the captain sent a message, knowing the fear it would evoke. Alter your course 10 degrees south. I'm on a fully armed battleship. Then the reply came. Alter your course 10 degrees north. I'm in a lighthouse. Yeah, but you know what? God calls us to submit to him so we don't run aground. There's a difference between ignorance and stupidity. The captain was ignorant of the fact he was approaching land. Once he knew better, to continue on that course would have been stupid. The Bible talks about people who, being ignorant of the righteousness of God, try to establish their own. That's ignorant. 
But the best level of righteousness that we can muster is about as pure as used menstrual pads. And by the way, that's God's description, not mine. The only way for us to become truly righteous is to submit to God's righteousness. And once we know that, to insist on our own way isn't ignorant. It's just plain stupid. When we submit ourselves to God, He shows us how to resist the devil and gain the victory over his destructive plan. When you resist according to God's plan, with God's strategy, and in God's power, the enemy will flee from you. And the enemy's prepared to flee and give up the ground he's held. Now he may be in a final desperate push, but he knows his forces cannot have the ultimate victory when we use God's battle plan. Submit yourselves to God, the one who alone is able to equip, strengthen, and enable you. Resist the devil. Resist. Redouble your efforts. Fight back. The course you're on this morning may be leading you to a rocky coast. God will give you his strategy and provide clear, specific direction from his word. You should follow it. He's not just telling you how to survive. He's giving you the path to victory over the enemy. Never give the enemy a chance, a foothold, a place from which to launch his attack on you. No opportunity, ever. Never give the enemy an opportunity because there's a difference between ignorant and stupid. And now you know. Man, we are out of time again. These minutes just fly by. Before you go, can I ask you to help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better? Please like this video. It will help more people see it. Then click follow or subscribe so that you and I can get together every day. Click the link in the description You'll get a free copy of my book, Count to One, and you'll get put on our email list and get these messages in your inbox every morning. Hey, one more thing. Share this message with a friend, would you? Because as you do, you're part of the team, touching millions of hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.